Uh, let's start by saying that it's an amazing thing to be here at Ubucon. I have been very hyped for the event and it's a great thing to be here. So I'll be speaking on unveiling the essence of design, how open source and collaborative artistry can change and revolutionize the open source community as we know it. So um, first, as a, an active member of Ubuntu Africa, I'd like to say that so many great advancements have been going on over here on this side. And truly, we are trying so much to push the community to actually embrace Ubuntu over here in whatever ways that we can. So now, what does it mean when I say unveiling the essence of design, open source and collaborative artistry? The thing is, in the dynamic realm of technology, Ubuntu serves as a guiding light, not only because of its robust open source operating system, but also because of the artistic tapestry woven into its design and brand philosophy. Ubuntu is rooted in four core values that I'm going to discuss today. Some of those values are freedom, reliability, precision, and collaboration. Now, the Ubuntu design transcends both aesthetics, creating a narrative that has. Now, as an artist, I always look for ways to use my art to express how I truly feel and express something I believe in and try to properly define it. Ubuntu is one of those things, and freedom in design is one of the characteristics that really struck me about Ubuntu's design. Ubuntu's design ethos is a celebration of freedom. It expands beyond open source softwares into the visual realm. It fosters innovation, experimentation, and even the expression of creativity. Now, one thing I noticed very well is that the design system of Ubuntu is flexible and it caters to a diverse array of applications from personal desktop to enterprise solutions, and it makes it the canvas. Now we are trying um, as hard to try and see how we can connect art and open source and make it one thing. And freedom in design is the first step that we're going to take actually to make that a possibility as far as open source and art is um, concerned. Now, when it comes to Ubuntu's reliability, reliability is always the pillar of every community. And as far as um, as an artist, as far as reliability goes, I believe that if your art is something that people can rely on, people resonate with and they understand, it can actually make more of an impact than any other thing you create. Art is something that comes from the heart and just like emotions and people, it has to be reliable, something you can trust. Now, reliability is at the core of the Ubuntu brand and is not only in its performance as an open source operating system, but also in its design language. You see that so many visual elements are meticulously crafted to instill confidence and ensure a seamless user. Design becomes a term of the Ubuntu name and the broader open source community. So the design aspect of Ubuntu is something that I have explored for uh, quite a few years now, I could say um, a year and a half now. And looking at how reliable the visual elements are, it all tells a story. It tells a story about Ubuntu, that Ubuntu is precise. Ubuntu's commitment to precision, as far as its artistic aspect is concerned, extends to the minutest detail, ensuring clarity and functionality within the open source framework. From the crisp icons, to the intuitive interfaces, each element serves a purpose. Precision in design enables users to navigate effortlessly, enhancing the overall usability of the Ubuntu ecosystem. Art something. Uh, have you ever walked into a museum, for example, and from one art piece, you can get different stories from it? Not one, not two, but countless different interpretations of that Ubuntu's uh, design has that in, in um, comparison with artistic with um, artistic integrity within the open source system. Collab 
Exploration is also a driving force in the Ubuntu's design philosophy. So it's not just an isolated pursuit, but it's a collaborative journey within the open source community. Like I spoke of an art piece telling a story, taking you on a figurative mental journey. So the community actively contributes to the design system that fosters a collective ownership spirit. And this um, collaborative ethos extends beyond the OS development, creating a vibrant open source ecosystem of ideas and perspectives that shape the evolution of Ubuntu's designs. This is a true work of collaborative art in the open source space. Another important point is learning the principles of Ubuntu's design. Now, in order to fully embrace Ubuntu's open source design, one is encouraged to delve into its different principles. In order to do that, you need to understand the intricacies of design system and how it empowers individuals to use Ubuntu effectively. You see, art is something that empowers people and Ubuntu um, implicating an art form that really pushes this is an important thing to their open system. Because of Ubuntu effectively contribute all of this. So there are so many different avenues to shape the open source design system as far as Ubuntu is concerned. And insights, creativity can also mold the future of Ubuntu, transforming it into a collaborative masterpiece within the broader open source community that reflects diverse perspective. Now, for those eager to immerse themselves in the world of Ubuntu's design within the open source realm, there are, a diff there are different um, resources available to you different ways that you can get into it. If you're an artist, there are so many ways that you can contribute to Ubuntu with your art. And um, you see that uh, Ubuntu has this art competition that is hosted like the Noble Numbat competition that is currently ongoing now. From styles, different art styles, to interactive workshops, the Ubuntu open source community offers a rich tapestry of learning materials. These resources empower individuals, not only to grasp open source design principles, but also to apply them in your own projects, like I have done. Uh, I believe that we've gotten some of my art pieces out there for you to see. Uh, so from those art pieces, I aim towards fostering an artistic community that extends beyond the operating system and into the realm of open collaboration and open source. So it's from collaboration. I call the art collection the Red Oasis. The Red Oasis is um, completely inspired by Ubuntu and the mission that Ubuntu pushes forward. As far as the African community is concerned, this is something that is very important to us here in Africa, in different parts of Africa, both Nigeria, South Africa, you name it. So. I wanted an art piece that actually signifies and that helps us to understand this. See, from the beginning of time, uh, Africa's culture has always involved arts. Africa's culture has always been colorful, expressive, with their dynamic uh, and diverse art pieces. So I wanted a way that we, we could, we could um, push Ubuntu to those people here to lots of Africans here to be very expressive and to tell a story with my art pieces, the story of Ubuntu and the story of open source design system. That, that, that in particular is the essence of design and open source. That is what makes it collaborative artistry. The fact that we can tell a story with it and push something forward. So Ubuntu's design and brand, they transcend mere aesthetics. They encapsulate a philosophy built on freedom reliability, precision, and collaboration within the open source landscape. Embracing Ubuntu is more than adopting an open source operating system, no. It's about joining a global community that values creativity, innovation, and the power of collaboration. So as we navigate the digital landscape, Ubuntu stands as a testament to the idea that great open source design is not only visually pleasing, but also a reflection of shared values and collective artistic aspirations. So um, I wish to keep on pushing Ubuntu, both in the African community and worldwide with my art pieces, expressing things that cannot be said. 
telling countless different stories from one art piece, different story about Ubuntu's complex design. Ubuntu is very artistic and colorful, and many at times they reflect various qualities of um, artistic art, um, Africanized cultural arts, and I've I've actually taken some time to this, to study and look into Ubuntu's design. It is beautiful in every way. In you look this way, you see something tangible. You look this way, you also get something tangible from me. As an artist, it's something that I also pick inspiration from. Like I mentioned earlier, the Red Oasis art collection. Then I will have it up on my pay hip. On my pay hip. Um, by Ubuntu. So if you still want to um, take a look at the art pieces, it will be up on my digital store. Um, I remain NJ the African. Uh, anybody who wants to reach out to me, feel free, NJ the African at gmail.com. So uh, I believe that will be it. Are there any questions I could attend to? Any questions? Here's one. Did I Hello? miss it, or are you using a program like Krita for uh, your drawing? Uh, okay, so I'm currently using um, Adobe Illustrator to create my art as well as um, Canva. It's not actually a difficult uh, application to use. Some of us are familiar with Canva, right? So I do use um, Canva, then I touch it up with Adobe Illustrator. More questions? All right, any more questions? No questions. That was an amazing talk. Actually, we do have a question. Okay. All right. Do you find people who are familiar with proprietary tools have any difficulty picking up uh, open source tools like Krita or Inkscape? And how do you help them make the transition to open source tools? Oh, okay. I'm um, sorry. Can I get a question again? Uh, okay, okay, okay. Um, transitioning from um, one thing to another can actually be tough, especially when you've gotten used to using um, one thing. But then I believe that uh, when making changes, you also have to be adaptive. Like I mentioned earlier, uh, you have to make sure that you are flexible and that can uh, be a big push when you're trying to change some from something that you're already used to. So. Uh, the community uh, at the Ubuntu African community currently is um, pushing artistic developments for those who want to transition, like you mentioned. So there will be uh, online courses for that, so many ways that they can learn. Like I said earlier, you can always reach out to me on my Gmail account if you have any other um, questions concerning that. We could work it out together. Did I ask a question? Uh, any other okay, questions? Uh, the main question is, uh, can you hear our applause? Let's find out. 